show a video and using my ego self propelled more. It's my first time trying it out, so I want to record it, just see how it goes. It was real quiet, which is great. The neighbor didn't realize I was mowing until I was pretty much cleaning it. Then he found out I was mowing because it was so quiet. Right after you finish mowing the lawn, what you want to do now is just clean it once it's fresh because it's much easier to clean it when it's wet instead of when it's dry. I'm going to show you how to clean your ego safely, the right tools and everything you need to know right after you mow the lawn. Okay, once you have your ego in the shade, it's better having it in the shade than the sun. So once you're ready, you just, what you do first is get started, you take out the battery for safety. And it's more practical that way too, so mostly for safety. And be careful when taking it out, it might, might be warm or even hot. So be careful when taking it out and put it in the shade somewhere to cool off. And by the time you finish cleaning, it's already gonna be cool, so you could charge it if you wanna use it again or later. So once you take the battery off, you're in a good dry location, you're ready to go. Get ready to clean it up. Step two, what you do now is you have to lift it up. So you grab the handle right there on the right. Make sure you click on it to release the lever. So you just pull forward, go all the way to you hear a click. Make sure it locks. And once it locks, it's secured. You could flip it over and you put your hand where you see the handle in the front one hand in the handle holding both sides the handle for the motor and the handle for the bottom at the same time so you could safely lift it up and for in the bottom so it doesn't roll backwards or forward because the blades are there underneath once you have it safely facing up once you have it that way then you're ready for the other other step Third step, a pair of thick gloves. These I got a long time ago, like uh, four years ago. So the ones now from Home Depot are, are terrible. Don't even bother. I have a link in the description where you guys can get a pair of thick gloves. Good quality gloves, uh, similar to these, because these are, ones are thick. So the original ones of these were real good. And the ones now are too thin. And the blade could go right through the glove. I recommend the one, the link in the description for the gloves. Okay, so once you have your pair of gloves and a damp and a towel, your, your washcloth with just water, that's all you need. A washcloth, some gloves, and a damp towel. You don't want to rinse the motor with a water hose because it will damage the electric motor and it's not recommended too. So because you don't want to avoid the warranty, so it's much more. It's recommended and it's also in the manual as well if you want to look it up. You just use a, a damp cloth and clean it up. Move the blade on where you want to clean it. So depending on the section you want to clean it with the w damp washcloth, you start wiping it and it'll come off real easy because the towel is wet. And you just start moving it around and around until it starts to get shiny, like it was new again. And you can pretty much tell how it's real easy to clean it. Just water and a towel and a glove. So make sure, making sure the blade doesn't hit you. Since these are long enough, it won't hit you in the, the blade, so you're safe. Just make sure you get every spot for a good clean more. I took my time cleaning it because I wanted it to be brand spanking clean, like it came out of the box. So yeah, so I'm going to speed it up so you guys can see the difference and how, how clean it's going to be. Make sure you grab every section and corner. So the cleaner it is, the better for the grass to flow into the grass bag. So I'll speed it up so you guys can see. I'm gonna place the camera in a better angle so it makes it more efficient to clean and to view. So you guys can see how clean and how fast it's gonna be and how easy it is to clean the more. I'm gonna put the other glove on so you'll be more well protected because it's always better to be protected. Use protection all the time. Now I'm just gonna use one hand because that's pretty much what I'm using to, to clean the motor. One hand free, other hand I'm cleaning the motor with my glove on. So eventually your, your damp towel will get too soiled that it will need to be rinsed. So make sure you have a bucket of clean water to rinse the damp towel. Just throw it in there. Making sure you have your glove off. I kind of forgot. <laughs> So just, when you take it off, just rinse it thoroughly. And just repeat that again a couple of times and in no time it will be clean. Your more, you have a good clean more. So a nice good rinse. Then grab a dry hand towel to dry your hands. So now you're gonna put on your gloves back on, but they have to be dry. So once you do that, you go back at it, at cleaning the more. 
going to look good when it's all complete. Now to use both hands to make it much easier to clean. Because I'm going to go going for the dive, make a deep clean now. It's also better to use both hands with gloves when you're cleaning the blade as well. Time for a good rinse. And dry your hands again. Keep, keep them dry before putting on your gloves. Almost done. You just need to clean out the, where the, the chute is for the grass where it goes out. Okay. Almost done. It's right there. I just have to clean that side. Clean that and pretty much done. Almost. The final rinse. Nice, good last rinse. Drying your hands again. Put on back your gloves. So after an hour of cleaning. 40 minutes they're about now it's looking good nice good clean more it's worth it because you always want to have it maintaining clean so it can keep working good yeah put in your dirty little towel in there the rag inside put it in the bucket looking good good investment saves you money it's one of the benefits of going electric no more fumes to smell or inhale I have a link in the description of where I got it, the gloves as well as the more. And don't forget maintaining your ego nice and clean. And also my gear that I use to maintain my, my lawn. Feel free to check it out, see what you think. Hope my video helps. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.